For every artist who makes it, there is always a history behind that time when nobody knew them and all they had to do was work and work and work. In Zimbabwe, we have examples of artists like Ja Preza and Winky D who are now mainstream artists in the country and at a regional level. In today's episode of Kudara Kwangu, I'm going to talk about Vods JT's journey to being a star which most think happened overnight, not knowingly, the artist took approximately three years trying to make it. Fultz JT's interest in music started at an early stage. When he was in his teens, Fultz would spend some time at Leo's house, aka director Leo V, the man who now shoots and edits all his music videos. At Leo's house, he would go there and just sit whilst watching other artists recording their tracks, mainly hip-hop artists. Young JT would admire this every time and he ended up falling in love with the hip-hop culture, leading him to make the most crucial decision in his life, which was to become a hip-hop artist. It didn't take JT a long time to record his first song. This was the same year when the American rapper Young M.A. had released her first hit titled Ooh, which was trending everywhere. JT saw this as an opportunity to blow up by making a remix for this song, which he did and didn't go as planned. What happened is, JT performed this song of his at a gig at his then high school, and unfortunately the response from the crowd disappointed him as they were not vibing with his song. This only broke JT's heart but not his artistic spirit, as he learned a lesson that got him to where he is today. From this experience, Fords came out clean in a local interview that he learned that people should not love his music because they are his friends or relatives, but because they can relate with it at a deeper level. His next move was to make a Shona track with the title of Boys Rangu which is considered as his first song. Fast forward in 2018, JT released Massini as an independent artist on Later Z YouTube channel as his first ever music video. His music video caught the attention of DJ Tamuka who invited him to his studio for a chat and also the attention of Ten Diamond who promised to sign him to his then upcoming record label. This was the first time in two years of working as an artist, Fultz JT received national recognition. For the following two years, Fultz JT went quiet on the music scene and ceased to exist as he did not pursue maintaining the fame he had acquired. Later, Vols JT came out clean on this matter saying his grades in school were dropping and he had to focus on school more to balance the two. In early 2021, Vols JT came back better than before with his own new unique sound releasing his first track these days which went viral in the country and was nominated Song of the Year and won the title at Zimi Pop Awards. Fords JT also won award for upcoming artists the same year which proved how much he was an impact in the industry. That same year, Fords JT got a record deal from Mula Nation and songs like Nyadze Mari were released under the label's name. 